This is Evan Paul Motor Cars. It's a premier exotic car dealership in Orange County. And this is Kat. She's the general manager at Evan Paul. Okay, so this is what you would actually be signing. Um, cool. We just need your autograph here, here, here. And this right here is my friend Yokes. And he's actually about to sign his name to own a car worth over $250,000. I'm not kidding, he really is. And I'm just there to encourage him. Yeah. All right. Thank you. There it is. Sure. Woo. Perfect. But what Yokes just did is not as important as to why he did it. So that being said, before we proceed any further, you guys have to understand what exactly the reasoning behind all of this is. Look guys, there's no arguing or denying it. Money makes this world go round. But what's always gonna be more more valuable than money is time and that's because you can always make more money but you're never gonna be able to get more time so I guess you can say the biggest L that you can possibly take in this life is when you waste both your money and your time on someone who doesn't really care about you so that's why today we're gonna help this guy named Dylan figure out if his girlfriend Aaliyah is a gold digger now Dylan doesn't really think that Aaliyah is with him for his money but he is afraid that she might leave him for someone else who has more money and he would much rather find out now rather than spend who knows how much time with her only for the inevitable to happen and so that's where Yokes comes in he's gonna be the one to go up to Aaliyah show her some money and then see if she ends up dumping her boyfriend Dylan to go on a date with him but Yokes isn't just gonna ask Aaliyah on a date the minute he walks up to her that's just straight up weird creepy and frankly any girl will say no to a guy who does that especially if she doesn't know him but that's exactly why we're dividing this test into three phases. Those phases are the introduction phase, the flash phase, and the date phase. In the introduction phase, Yokes will simply introduce himself to Aaliyah. In the flash phase, Yokes will flash money to her. And in the date phase, he will finally ask her on a date. We're currently in the introduction phase, and so far, everything is going as planned. Hours before this moment right here, we texted Dylan and told him exactly what park to bring Aaliyah to and exactly what table to sit at with her. Once we arrived to the park and we saw that he had brought her exactly where we wanted her, we then hid behind the restrooms, made sure we had a clear angle, and then began setting up our main camera. Buy some final touches just in case. Just in case, you never know. So with our main camera now on them, we then texted Dylan to make up the excuse that he needs to use the restroom. This would result in him coming to us and leaving Aaliyah there on her own. As soon as he starts walking over here, Yokes, you're gonna go, Denzi, you're gonna walk, okay? And he is making up his excuse. And he's coming. All right. With Dylan now on his way towards us, we send off both Denzel and Yokes towards Aaliyah. And in simultaneous fashion, Dylan makes it to me while Yokes and Denzel continue their approach on their target. Okay. You have to stay hiding against the wall. Denzel sits comfortably on a table next to Aaliyah while secretly providing us with a second camera angle. Now all we gotta do is wait for Yokes to introduce himself to her. Dylan will also be listening to everything that Yokes will be saying to his girlfriends because Yokes and I are connected onto a phone call. So now that you guys know everything, it's time to watch this phase play out. Hi. Sorry, I don't mean to bother you. Do you have a minute? Okay, I know this is really random, but... I just bought a scratcher at the gas station. And I don't have a quarter to scratch it off. I was wondering if you had a quarter I could borrow. Oh, yeah. So we had Yokes introduce himself to Aaliyah by asking her to borrow a quarter to scratch a scratcher that he bought at the gas station. But the thing is, the scratcher that Yokes will be scratching is not an ordinary scratcher. It's actually a winning scratcher that we bought online, but it's totally fake. But to the unsuspecting eye, this thing looks really, 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 really legit. I don't have a quarter, but I got... You got some? Pennies, you choose. Cool, let's try it out. Like Thank you. Lucky penny. <laughs> Saving my life. My name is Yokes, by the way. Oh, Aaliyah. Aaliyah, nice to meet you. All right, let's see if we win, yeah? What the heck? Okay, so he's scratching the scratcher. Okay. All right, so. Is he gonna win? I forget exactly how much, but yeah, he's gonna win. Here, hang on to this. I'm gonna check on the camera. I swear to God. So Yoke scratches the fake winning ticket with the penny that Aaliyah provided him with. And of course, because she doesn't know that the ticket is fake, she is about to be in for a huge surprise. Yo. Wait a second. No way. What? Look it, look it, look it, look it. Wait, Lucky wait. number one, right there. Aaliyah has now grabbed the ticket from Yokes and she is either reading its rules, making sure Yokes actually won, or if she's smart, making sure that the ticket is actually real. He's just won, he just scratched off the ticket. He's trying. What? How much does it say I won? Three hundred fifty thousand dollars. What? So it seems Aaliyah is buying into our lie. She is now believing that Yokes is a rich man. No wait, way. Wait, wait, wait. I just let gave me you see. that penny, so I totally had to get a piece of that. Wait, let me see if I heard that right. No wait, way. Wait, wait, wait. I just let gave me you see. that penny, so I totally had to get a piece of that. Okay, that right there, guys, is like the first sign that Aaliyah might actually fail this test. I totally had to get a piece of that. She is money hungry, and Yokes notices this and capitalizes on it. Yo, high five, let's go! We gotta do something fun with this money. Are you down? Let's go. Let's do it! Okay, cool. Dude, what, wait, is she gonna take the money? Oh my God. No, no, he, no, no, he, I'm talking about her. Here, let me get your phone number one second. Yokes now hangs up the call with us to proceed to getting Aaliyah's number. But guys, please note, yes, Aaliyah might be money hungry, but that doesn't doesn't make her a gold digger yet. Cool. There you go. Perfect. No okay, way. I'm gonna cash this. 
and then I'm gonna call you and- What is happening? Okay, um, we'll figure it out right now as soon as Yokes gets back here. Okay, come over here. Oh my okay. god. Yeah, are you, are you, are you sweating? Why are you sweating? I don't know. I know Dylan might be a little nervous, but there really isn't a reason for him to worry just yet. Yokes just caught Aaliyah's number because it's necessary for us to have it in order to move on to phase number two of this test. But with phase one now complete, he begins to make his way back up to us. I hope I get some like some type of text like, explaining what just happened or something because like I don't know what to. Expect. I think I, I mean I, I think it's no I think it's a normal. I think reaction, it's a normal reaction. Right? Like spot. she's the scratch looks hella real. Wait. Did she question the integrity? She, no, not at, all, not at all. Not at all. She was really excited. She was excited. I think most people would be excited. So, no, I don't think yeah. there's anything to really think about just yet. We'll see. Uh huh. You know, when I call her back. How are you feeling, Dylan? Are you like? I think like I'm a little bit nervous, but I like right now. I think. It's kind of like a normal reaction. Like, right. That's a lot of money. Right. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. What I'm saying. So with Dylan on the same page as us that Aaliyah's actions don't mean anything yet, we can now send him back to hang out with her for the rest of the day. But to recap and summarize, guys, in this phase, Yokes introduced himself to Aaliyah in a friendly and approachable manner, and it piqued her interest, and thus it set us up perfectly to pull phase number two of this test. Do you think she told him? Do you think she told him about like you? It looked the same as when they started talking. <laughs> So it's been a couple of days since we pulled phase number one, and today we're supposed to be shooting phase number two. However, we ran into a complication and a roadblock. Yokes, you wanna tell the people what's been going on? Yo, I have not been able to get a hold of Aaliyah for the last two days, and I don't even have confirmation yet or of anything for today. Like, I don't have confirmation from her. That's right, guys. For some reason, Aaliyah has ghosted Yokes for two days now, which means phase number two, the flash phase, is now compromised. So in this phase, we wanted Yokes to hang out with Aaliyah and then surprise her by taking her here to Evan Paul Motorcars. It's a car dealership with millions of dollars worth of exotic cars. And once they were there, Yokes was gonna surprise Aaliyah even more by telling her he was gonna buy her her own Ferrari or Lamborghini with the money that he just won from the Scratcher. They would then sit down and fill out all the paperwork to make the buy legit. But of course, just like the Scratcher, buying the car would not be legit at all. And that's because Evan Paul Motorcars is actually in on the test with us. But unfortunately, with Aaliyah not responding to Yokes anymore, we can't fully execute this phase. We can't even pull this phase, but what makes this even worse is that we can't even reschedule to shoot because the dealership is like on such a tight schedule. It's pretty much now or never, Yokes. Like we 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 have to pretty much do it a day because I don't think we should yeah. cancel with the company. No, I think we gotta. I think we should just definitely as we go, we just like come up with a plan B or something. Yeah. Plus, I want to see those damn cars. <laughs> <laughs> so with no way to reschedule to the dealership, we had. But because we were almost certain that Aaliyah would not show up, we texted Dylan to not come either. Okay, so we've made it to Evan Paul Motor Cars. And this is where we wanted Yokes to originally bring Aaliyah and like pretend that he was going to buy a car and buy her a car. They were going to sign paperwork and everything. But unfortunately, she's been dodging him. Yeah. So we're going to send her like some Instagram stories, some pictures and everything of him. And hopefully we can get her attention again. <laughs> so that's pretty much the plan B we came up with. Since Aaliyah couldn't be there to see the cars, we were going to bring the cars to her. <laughs> look, look, they have a Lamborghini gold wrap. That's fire right there. That is so awesome. Hey. Hi. Are you Kat? Yes. Sergio. Sergio, right? Yeah. Yo, yo, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Guys, Thank this is you. Kat. She's a general manager here, and she has so gracefully allowed us access into Thank you for letting us use us. and see and go into these cars. And Absolutely. Yeah. So who's buying the car today? Who's that would be this guy right over here. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just, well, he's not really buying it. You know. Right? Okay, come on. Buying it. So Kat now takes us and grants us access to her most limited and expensive cars, each worth up to half a million dollars. Remember, guys, the plan is to take videos of these cars and make it seem as legit as possible that this guy is going to be buying one yeah. of these cars and without a further ado we begin setting our plan b into motion yo Aaliyah, check this out green mclaren i think this might be the one it's a 720. <laughs> i think i might spend a lot of money on this what do you think first video down many more to go oh my god this is like a race car second choice ferrari 458 it's got the red interior. This one's expensive, man. Our goal in sending Aaliyah these videos is to get her to think that Yokes is actually going to buy himself a new whip with the money that he won from the scratcher. This place is low-key kind of depressing me. I can't afford any of these cars. <laughs> so Aaliyah may or may not have come to her senses that meeting Yokes was actually too good to be true, and that's why she stopped messaging him. But hopefully, hopefully, after receiving all of these videos, it sparks a much needed reaction from her. This car's gonna be her mascot right here. It just fits in perfectly. Like gold wraps. We might have to get this one. Gotta pull out a bunch of credit cards, buy this thing. <laughs> 
It's the hardest part is getting in and out of these things, you know what I'm saying? What we thought was a perfectly paved phase two ended up turning murky. However, we always try to find a way to tread the road and always stay optimistic. What are your thoughts on all these cars, Dinzo? I can't afford this lifestyle. <laughs> Or I mean, at least some of us always stay optimistic. So we're executing our plan to what I believe is flawless. I've gosh. been I, I, I've been sending her a I, I, bunch of a bunch of Instagram stories. She, she has then. not responded yet. <laughs> but who knows? She may be sleeping. Should you I like try FaceTiming her? Do you think I should? I think you probably should. Like you've heard, we've got a no response from Malia over Instagram or text message. So we try FaceTiming her to see if we get lucky. But after two attempts and no answer on each one, it's really starting to seem like our luck's run out. So it is now time that we move on to our last resort. Oh, wow. This is a second I see you in this. This is the one, I think. With the help from general manager Kat, we are now going to make a very legit looking video for Aaliyah of Yoke signing to buy the black Lamborghini. This is if I can't assign this card or like a bank, then we can come repo the car, but since you're paying all cash today, we won't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> we did our best to make this look official and exhausted all of our ideas to try to get a reaction from Aaliyah. Yeah! Woo! Perfect. That's it. That's Is that it. good? Okay. I, I think that looked official. I think that looks good. With this final video now being sent to her, we now leave it completely up to her to see if she chooses to reply to Yokes or not. If she responds, then we find a way to move on to phase three, but if she doesn't, it's safe to assume that Aaliyah is not a gold digger. Guys, so Yokes is pretty much telling me that he's getting no response from her like at all and stuff. So at this point, we look desperate and we're just gonna call it. We're just gonna end this test. This test is over. Aaliyah is not a gold digger. So we got Yokes the man, the myth, the legend in the house. More importantly though, we got a response from Aaliyah. What did she tell you? What did she tell you? She said, congratulations. The other one, the other one, the other one. She said, I thought you were supposed to spend the money with me. And what did you tell her? No, I told her, I said, baby, there's a lot more money to spend where that came from. So it seems our efforts have paid off. And I mean, I don't want to say it was the nice cars and the fact that Yoke supposedly bought himself a Lamborghini that made Aaliyah want to message him again, but I mean, it's plausible that that is the reason why. She knows now, it's on. Yes. We're still in there, boy. Yes. We, got, we got a phase three, potentially, potentially. Yes, Yokes is not going to be responsible for messaging oh. her back and setting up a date where we're going to pull this phase number three. Nice. So going off of this message here that Yokes just sent to Leah, we ended up coming up with a strategic plan that is a little ridiculous, slightly elaborate, but very believable. In real life, Yokes is actually always around quality and luxury. So for the next two days, we're going to have him indulge in a conversation with Aaliyah where he can share these old pictures that he has on his phone without coming off douchey. We're hoping to make Aaliyah believe that Yokes does in fact have more money than just what he won on the scratcher. And I would say because Yokes didn't overdo it, the plan worked like a charm. And so in due time, Yokes then sent her this message. Basically, he's offering to buy her a Ferrari. And yes, of course, we added more intricate details to the message to make it more believable. But at this point, guys, we highly suspect that Aaliyah believes that Yokes is actually a wealthy, successful guy. So we hope that she also believes that this isn't out of his element. And that message, of course, sparked a very long back and forth conversation that you guys can pause this video and read it if you really want to read it all. But pretty much Aaliyah didn't believe Yokes, thought it was a joke, and was questioning why Yokes would buy it for her. But in the end, thanks to Yokes' persistence, she ended up accepting the car, thus allowing us to finally pull phase number three of this test. Remember, this is where Yokes is finally asking Aaliyah on a date. And as you guys might have guessed, he's going to be doing so as he's giving her this new Ferrari. And so the schedule to me. But what Aaliyah doesn't know is that everyone except the Ferrari will be at this meetup. Instead, taking its place will be this Toyota Corolla, which is actually Les's car. Shout out to our camera girl, Les Lee. We honestly just felt it would be interesting to see how Aaliyah reacts in seeing the Corolla here instead of the Ferrari. Anyways, we got there early this time and chose to aim our cameras towards this direction because it was closest to the park entrance. On a scale of one to 10, how confident are you that she's gonna pass the test. At this point, probably a 5.4. That's pretty low. So Dylan has clearly lost some hope, but the thing is Aaliyah can still pass. All she has to do is just decline to go on a date with Yokes. But time ticks on and Yokes receives a call. Then he gives us a thumbs up, letting us know that it is Aaliyah and she is almost here. So into the car we go to hide while Yokes heads to the park entrance to meet her up. So we got camera guy right there getting Yokes and we got this cam right here as a second angle just in case anything happens to the SD card or the battery over there or vice versa. So we wanted to make the Corolla a surprise. So when Yokes meets up with Aaliyah, he's actually gonna be blindfolding her. I don't think our camera, I think he went too high up. I don't think our camera is going to be able to get him. Dang, we did not think of that at all. But I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. 
there. Like I said, all Yokes is doing is meeting and blindfolding Aaliyah. And sure enough, after a couple of minutes, we start getting our first glimpse of them walking down. I'm super excited and waiting. I know you've been waiting. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's, she, she just said she's super excited, she said. Uh-huh. Once again, we are connected onto a phone call with Yokes and listening in. This time that we're using earphones for more precise listening because every word uttered will be important. All right, a little right this way. I swear, I can't wait to see what kind of reaction she will give to seeing a Corolla instead of a Ferrari. Right here. Aaliyah, are you ready? Yes. You ready to see your new car? Yes. All right. Oh, I'm so excited to see her expression. <laughs> I yeah. know, right? <laughs> Ta-da! You're joking, right? No, it got you the Ferrari you wanted. <laughs> You didn't. Uh, yeah, oh, I did. Damn. So she is obviously not impressed with she this sure car ain't. at all. I'm not feeling her. I don't like her. <laughs> she gonna fail. I can already feel it. Look at this car. It's beautiful. You're fucking it. I'm not fucking with you. It's yours. I don't need this one. What do you mean? Come on. It's a Ferrari. Look, it's got four wheels. For some reason, I expected Aaliyah to be mad. But to be honest, it sounds like she's being a really good sport about her joke. This is the new model. Check it out. If this is a Ferrari, like, I've got a Ferrari times 10. <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 ho, ho, ho. Don't you insult Les's car like that, Aaliyah. You have absolutely no right. Damn, okay, what kind of car she drives? That's I'm better than that. her. Take a <laughs> I was expecting a Ferrari. What happened? <laughs> so the joke has gone on long enough, and now Yokes decides to come clean. I was kidding with you. I've got the Ferrari right here. Okay, so what does Yokes mean by this? Well, remember at the dealership how Yokes supposedly signs for the Lambo? Well, the papers in his hands are some of those exact forms, but this time for a Ferrari. All you gotta do to make it yours is sign right there. Check it out. No jokes. No jokes, read it, look. So because the forms are legit and actually from the dealership, Aaliyah can't even question the integrity of them. Like they're real forms. Okay. All we gotta do is go to the dealership with your signature and the car is yours. Let's get do it then. It looks like she's buying so it. Perfect. With Aaliyah believing that she is so close to the Ferrari, it's now the perfect time for Yokes to ask her on a date. Before we sign this paperwork though, Aaliyah, I don't know if you can tell or not. Obviously, I'm attracted to you. I kind of like you. And I wanted to know if you had a boyfriend. If she denies you, what's she gonna say? Oh, how much? I just want to make sure that you don't have a boyfriend. Are you in a relationship right now is my question. Yeah, but why does that? No. <laughs> she just admitted she was in a relationship, which is a great okay, sign. Yeah, so great good. sign. It's a really great sign and definitely must be giving Dylan some hope back. But this test isn't over just yet. I mean, it doesn't matter, but you know, if I'm going to get this $200,000 car, you know, for a, technically we just met, you know, yeah. you're kind of a stranger, but I just want to know that we're going to be able to use it together and have fun with it. You know, if you have a boyfriend, he might get jealous or, you know. He exists, but we can still have fun. I don't really see the problem. Yeah, but I want to make absolute sure that this is what you want. Okay. What do you need to make sure of? Are you gonna? Are you with him? Are you? You know, what are your feelings for him? Because yeah. I kind of like you. Obviously, I want to take you on dates. But if you have a boyfriend, it's really not that big of a deal. So <laughs> wait, what does that mean? What do you mean? Like, do you want me to? Break up with him? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. I don't want you to break up with him. Okay, so maybe Yooks isn't directly saying it, but he is implying it. And it's clear that Aaliyah senses and knows this, otherwise she wouldn't have asked that question. The decision's up to you. Like I said, me and you can possibly have a relationship in the future. You want to date me and I should drop my boyfriend. Again, guys, based on this question, it proves that Aaliyah knows exactly what Yokes is implying. She knows that he wants to date her, but that she can't because she has a boyfriend. And I think it's also safe to assume that she knows if she rejects Yokes, there's a possibility that she also will lose the Ferrari. I know it's a tough spot that we might have put her in, but I also know that she knows what the right thing to do is. I was really thinking about breaking up with him pretty soon. Really? Yeah, I mean, we really haven't been on the same page lately. We're kind of incompatible at this point. I just, I, I don't need that. And right you're now. sure about that? Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure you gotta be 100% sure, cause when you sign this, it's like signing your life away. <laughs> so Aaliyah just claimed that she was already planning on breaking up with Dylan. But to be honest, how truthful is that statement? I think I'm willing to sign my life away to something like this. For a Ferrari? Yeah. 
damn. So did Aaliyah accept Yokes' offer because she was already planning on breaking up with Dylan, or did the possibility of losing the Ferrari have something to do with it? With his job now done though, Yokes now invites her to sit on the bench with him to look at some pictures of her new car. I mean, is there more that you want to hear? Like, I think, I, I, I mean, what, what, what is that? What, is, what does that say to you? Later today, we can go pick it up. Now we got the paperwork. I wanted to show you some pictures of it first. She's planning on already dumping you, which I don't think it's true. I just think that she just says that right now because she wants the Ferrari, but there is no Ferrari, but still the simple fact that she says that. Oh my God. What do you think? Yes. That's the one, huh? Yes. I know. <laughs> I tricked you with that one. This is the real one. Give me your thoughts on everything. What are you feeling right now? So I just feel betrayed. Mm -hmm. Like, spent all this time in this relationship and then she's just gonna do that to me because right. i think i've been doing a great job mm -hmm. as a boyfriend but apparently there's something wrong that's the thing that sucks to be honest is literally like you you invest so much time into like a person and then like for them to just drop you just like that, damn. To her credit, Aaliyah did ghost Yokes after phase number one, and she did bring up the fact that she had a boyfriend in this phase. But regardless, in the end, the results are the same. She has failed this test. Again, she has a boyfriend. Right, she does. So she shouldn't be willing to just give it up for a car. No, of course not, of course not. That's, what, that's what's crazy, like she literally valued that car or the Ferrari, the over fake Ferrari me. over you. Over me. She valued that car over you. I mean, yeah, these are really cool looking and expensive, but at the end of the day, they're just aluminum, iron, glass, rubber, plastic, and steel. Whereas to a person who actually loves and cares for you, that's priceless. So what do you what do you want to do? Do you want to go out there and confront her? Do you want me to? Yes. You want to? I want to know why. So that's the next step. That's you, the next you, step. You want to go out there? You want to confront her? Let's okay. do it. Let me set up this camera. Let's don't do don't step out yet. Let me set up this camera. So without a further ado, Dylan want to have the opportunity to confront Aaliyah and get whatever's on his chest off. So at this point in the video, if you guys are not munching on Takis how you're supposed to be, or if you guys already finished your bag, then you better go run and grab another one because you guys already know this shit's gonna be good. All right, so what do we do? Do we, do, do you want me to pull up a little closer or do we get off from here and walk? She's gonna see you, like almost immediately, like once she spots you, she spots you. She's Let's probably gonna, it. she's Let's probably gonna spot here. you like halfway through the parking lot. You wanna do, do it from, from here? here? Okay. You're really just gonna train me like that, Aaliyah? You're just gonna train me like I'm nothing, like I don't mean anything to you? Aaliyah. My name is Sergio, and we, we we're actually Why filming for a show right now. Like, not, can you turn that off? No one's turning anything. Aaliyah, off. so we're actually filming for a small show on YouTube. It's called Catching Gold Diggers, and basically, we wanted to find out if you would end up yeah. using or cheating okay. on your cool. boyfriend. I don't care. I don't care. I didn't do anything. I didn't cheat. Stop recording. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> we, did. We did. Stop fucking she, lying. She's we recorded everything guilty. that you did. If you did nothing wrong, you wouldn't be acting all scared and acting guilty as hell right now. I'm not running away from anything. I just don't want to be on any stupid show for something yes, you're assuming you I did. did. Yes, you did. Stop fucking lying. We recorded oh everything God. that you did with this dude right here. You're on fucking camera. tripping because I didn't do shit. I don't know what you're talking about. Everything was recorded, Leah. We got everything on camera. Like, there's nothing to deny or anything. I don't give a fuck what you have on your camera. I didn't do anything, so you can't say that I did something when I didn't do shit. Like, I don't know what you're. You're fucking tripping. Nothing right now. matters to you, huh? Damn. You don't care about our relationship or anything that I did for you. You can give two fucks about any of that, right? Dylan, I've done so much for you too, but you don't see me rubbing in your face or setting you up for a fucking show. He's I don't think he's trying Go to ahead and set me up. I'm not afraid of being tested because I don't play games like you. I'll stay low to you no matter what. And I'm not trying to throw anything in your face, Aaliyah. I just think it's common sense to be appreciative of what others do for you. I, I am appreciative. Who said that I wasn't? Well, shit, this is this how you show your appreciation? By spreading your legs to someone because of their money? Yeah. Oh. Fuck you too, Dylan. Okay. Damn. Cool. I don't even know why the hell you're all mad at me for when you're not the one who just got used and played right now. I'm mad because you're pathetic. You know that? You have no confidence or self-esteem that you have to set me up for some fucking show just to see if I'll trade you for another guy. Well, I'm glad I did. Cause look what happened. You did end up trading me. So what the hell does that tell you about yourself? Well, it tells me that I go for guys who are more confident, who aren't pathetic, like you. No, it Damn. says that you're, you know what? I'm done. I don't even want to say anymore. Damn, that was crazy. And with that, Aaliyah walks away, I'm assuming back to her car. And Dylan, who became a little emotional, decides to take some space to himself for a couple of moments. He's uh, mad, dude. He's, no, he is. I want to I, I wanna give him space. See, because when you confront someone, when this just happens and you confront this person, like on the spot right then and there, it's like you really don't know what to say and your emotions are yeah, going. Yeah, so I, I want to I wanna give yeah, him that space. Ended, that and, ended quick, for sure. No, it, she is either yeah. the biggest gold digger in the world or the most gullible person in the world. <laughs> I think she's a little bit of both, honestly. <laughs> I really thought, you know, we were hitting it off too. That's yeah. the thing that hurts yeah. the most. 
but yeah. I guess not. Yeah, I mean, look at it this way, Dylan. You're you're what, 19? You're 19, man. You're yeah. still young. And at least you know now. And yeah, and now That's you, true. And you know what it is, man, is every time you go through something traumatic in your life, you learn from it and you gain experience from it. So we got you. Oh, it's gonna be all right. Don't worry. Man. Let's go home though. Oh, look at this. Look oh, at this handshake. Oh, look, look. <laughs> you gotta come down to our level, whatever. <laughs> Crouch. All right, let's do this. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That makes more sense. <laughs> Visit the